In this video, we're gonna make the roof peaks. Roof peaks, well, they are the peaks of the roofs and cap off the tops of roofs. And they also, just like roofs have, they have two components. They have peak rafters and peak roofs, and they connect together as well. So let's get started. So today we are going to be making roof peaks for the Torino Tavern roof system. They're very similar to the roofs and rafter pieces that we built in the last video, uh, except the one difference is with these, you have basically one rafter piece represents one half of the roof, right? It's either the left side or the right side. But with the peak roof pieces, they are essentially both. So we are gonna be looking into how these differ from the roof pieces. Uh, but you should make sure to have watched the previous video, the roofs and rafters video, because we will be building on that significantly here. Things like how to make the shingles and all that kind of stuff, I'm not gonna go over again since that's covered in the previous video. So we're gonna start off with the components. We have these two pieces here, which make up the primary pieces of the the rafter bit for the peak roofs. This is the interior tongue piece. This is the template for the roof peak rafter. And it looks a little funky, but if you look at it compared to the roof rafters, you can kind of see that there's some similarities here. Just like this is the, the piece of the rafter, this is the piece of the rafter for the peak. And this is the shim, just like this is the shim out here. We're gonna start by tracing these onto some foam. And I also like to mass produce these, like I mass produce everything else. And these are kind of fun because when you lay them out and trace them on here, they make this kind of cool honeycomb pattern. And you can make a lot of these in one sheet. You can see I've already traced some of these out of here. And once you get them on there like that, we just lengthen out the lines here in the middle where we're gonna cut. And also extend the lines for the shim piece. There you go. So there are your four pieces you're going to need. So once I have all the lines done, I'm going to start decorating the pieces. And I'm going to leave them like this so it's really easy to do that because when I keep them connected like this, you know, when, whenever there's pieces that are next to each other like this, I can just draw in all the wood grain lines at the same time. I'm just going to add some bolts here. Well, once I've finished decorating them, I'm going to cut out the pieces that we don't need. Now I would of course decorate all these at the same time, cut out all the voids, and then paint them all at once, just like we did for the roof rafters. But for this, I'm not gonna go over that again because you've already seen that and I don't wanna waste your time. Uh, but you can see how this sort of lays out here. This is the interior piece for the rafter and this is the shim that goes out on the top there. And then we need to make the tongue pieces. And I do the same thing I did for the roof rafter tongues. I lay them out on a piece of foam with masking tape on both sides so I can literally mass produce them and paint them all at once as well. Now, of course, I would do this on long sheets and then I would paint them all at once. But, you know, just for, for demonstration purposes, this is how I would lay them out. And then we just cut it out. And just to demonstrate how these get glued together, I'm gonna cut one of these out as well. Now, these would normally be painted before you start cutting them apart. I'm just leaving them unpainted so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. And the first bit of this is to glue the shim on. And you just want to make sure it's flush on the top and the bottom. And if there's any kind of overhang like this, you just kind of trim that off. Just like that. Okay, let's trim off the excess. Those are good to go. And now we're going to attach the tongue piece to here. And just like on the roof rafters, for the roof peaks, we want to make sure that when this is seated in here and we have the side rafter pieces on, that this gap here is wide enough to accept a piece of foam. And we can see it is, so that's perfect. And then it's just a matter of gluing the two together. There you go. Okay, so that's the rafter part of the roof peak finished. And then we have to do the flashing for it. Now I showed you in the previous video actually how to create the flashing pieces, so I'm not gonna do that again. 
Uh, the only difference for the Peak roofs is that they have their own template as well with their flashing width on here. You can tell you have the right uh, template for that because this one shows the roof peak on it. So I've gone ahead and built these two and they are this width and this height for the flashing. And so we have two of them because this one roof peak is gonna be both sides of a roof. So we need to attach these two together like this. Now you can do that with masking tape, but I don't recommend it because masking tape is not particularly strong when you get in a situation where it could be torn. So what I use is I use cheap uh, duct tape from Dollar Tree. And you can get a roll like this for a dollar uh, and it'll last a whole long time for a lot of roofs. And you wanna pull out a, a piece that's about twice as long as this, a little bit more. And I like to lay it down on my surface so I can cut it in half. And I just kinda of eyeball this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And what I do is I lay it upside down with the glue side up and then making sure my shingles are pointing down, I put it in the middle here. And I put the other side on and I leave a little bit of a gap because I wanna make sure that they're able to fold well afterwards. And then just fold over like that. And make sure it's nice and down there. And then I also like to make sure that it's glued in the middle here. Both sides of the tape are touching each other. Okay, so now we have our duct tape on there. Now the one thing with duct tape is it does not take paint well at all. So we're gonna put some masking tape on top of it, which will take paint much better. All right, good to go. And uh, just like with our other roof pieces, we're gonna draw a channel in the back here, which will be where this tongue piece will be glued onto uh, to the flashing. Okay, that looks pretty good. The tongue piece is in, in that channel in the middle. And I've got a good amount of glue on there. The gap looks good up here. And um, yeah, so this is ready for paint. Now the procedure to paint these is exactly the same as it is for the uh, roof rafters. And then it should be ready to go. And it kind of turns out like this. The other big difference between roof peaks and regular roofs is that the pieces of roof that are gonna be connected in between the flashing pieces are also connected in the middle, like this. And they're, they're sort of hinged. So we're gonna do that as well with duct tape. And we wanna make sure that our shingles are, are angled down. I'm gonna put it on like that. Wrap that down like that. I'm going to try to have this look a little neater on the end. Let's just kind of cut this so we can kind of wrap it around nicely. And then we just finish it off with a little bit of duct tape on the back. There we go. And just cut off the excess on the ends. Now we have the same issue obviously here with the duct tape not taking paint well, so we're gonna take and put on some masking tape there. And I just kinda cut it here real quick. And then we're gonna put a piece up top. Okay, so that is ready for paint. And we'll just do a quick test fit here. Sure enough, that works pretty well. There you go. Now these were painted the exact same way as the other roof pieces. And then you're ready to go.
So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.